Ah yes, I was waiting for you. I want to ask you something. Do you want to cook sous vide without any equipment? Then you came to the right place. What up guys, Anna here, welcome back to my kitchen. I'd argue a few things in life compared to how a big, thick, juicy meat tastes in your mouth. But getting them right every single time is hard. That's where sous vide comes to the rescue. But what if you don't have or don't want to buy sous vide equipment? Well, I'm gonna show you how to get the perfect state without any equipment. So let's cook this, shall we? For those hearing for the first time about sous vide and they're like, what the fuck is sous vide? Quick intro. Sous vide is the technique of cooking food in a vacuum sealed bag in a water bath for a long time at a constant temperature. Sous vide was developed by French people. We make everything hotter in the kitchen. And it translates to under vacuum. Why would you ever cook like this, you'd ask? This is not a fish. Look at me, I'm a fish. Shut up, Jeff, you're drunk again. Because this method is so easy, accurate and predictable for getting the steak done mess right every time. No more overcooked steak, top to bottom, medium rare here. Especially for thicker pieces that are so easy to mess up. No more poking, testing, flipping, none of that. And it's so easy to follow by any beginner. Usually, sous vide involves spending half of your paycheck on a vacuum sealer that you're gonna use to vacuum seal your steak in a special bag. Then, buy a sous vide machine that will maintain the water temperature at a constant temperature during cooking. Forget about all of that. I'm not a fan of having not one, but two expensive single-purpose toys occupying space in my small kitchen, especially when I can cook the same top-notch quality steak without them. Here's how we're gonna hack our way into this. Take a pot, in this case the size matters, so use a big one. The more water you have, the better we'll be able to control the temperature during cooking. Smaller water volumes take less energy to increase their temperature. Fill it up with water and put it on the stovetop on medium flame. Then, the only special tool we need is get ready for this high-tech gadget, a thermometer, which goes into the water, not the steak. The idea here is that the water will transfer the heat to our steak until both the water and the steak will have the same temperature. This is a high accuracy thermometer like this one, not the one that I'm showing you here. I was unable to find in all this mess the right thermometer so I ended up filming with this one. When your thermometer gets to 129-133 range, perfect for medium rare steak, take your beautiful sexy piece of premium ribeye, season it with salt, sometimes I like to use my tears instead of salt, and for a better flavor pretend you're kidnapping it Dexter style into a Ziploc freezer bag. Hold on Anna, is it safe to use a Ziploc bag? Yep, it is, because it's made out of polyethylene which is safe. Its melting point is 120 Fahrenheit height way higher than our cooking temp. Then waterboard that steak. By submerging it in water, all the air will be pushed out of the bag and the steak will stay underwater during cooking. See, no vacuum machine needed. Science, bitch! Also during cooking, the flame should be on the lowest setting of your stove top. Now, we have to decide the cooking time based on the thickness of our steak. Mine is one and a half inch thick, it will be done in one and a half hours. The minimum time is about one hour for one or less than one inch thickness, then add 30 minutes for every additional half of an inch. What about the cooking temperature? Well, it depends on how you like your steak. Go with higher temperature for a well done steak. Remember, sous vide means cooking at a constant temperature throughout the entire cooking time. How can we do this? Well, every 30 minutes come back and check the water temp. If it jumped out of the desired range, don't have a heart attack, it's all good, you relax. If it's too low, turn up the flame. If it's too high, just remove some of the hot water and replace it with some fresh cold water. If all this checking bothers you, then buy a sous vide machine. It doesn't bother me since I spend most of my time in the kitchen, the right place for any woman, according to my grandpa's generation of men. Sous vide machines also have an additional function. They circulate the water to make sure that the temperature is equal throughout the entire pot. That's why when I check the temperature, I also give the water a stir. Does that really matter? I did a little experiment. I measured the temperature at the bottom, middle and top of the pot every 15 minutes. The results now show a significant temperature difference between bottom, middle and top parts of the pot. All are roughly in the same range, give or take 5 degrees. And now we just wait for time to pass. During this time, we could practice the accordion, improve our quantum physics skills, or cook some side dishes to go with the steak. Which in my case is another steak. Nothing better than steak on steak action. One and a half hours later, our steak is almost ready. Take the bag out of the water and the steak out of the bag. It looks so good. No, no it doesn't. It looks grey, sad and depressed, just like me when my boyfriend dumped me. So let's put some color on that steak by searing it in a pan. First, we have to pat it dry since water is the biggest enemy of developing the crust. Then, take whatever pan you have available. For this, I like using the copper one and not the cast iron pan. Put some fresh tears, also known as butter, and be generous with it. This is not a good time to think about your diet. Think about it afterwards, when it will be too late. That's what I do. When the pan gets ripping hot like Kim's butt, drop your steak in and sear it on high heat for 20 seconds on each side, twice per side. Then take it out of the pan, let it rest for 5 minutes and enjoy a perfect gorgeous steak, my friends. Alright guys, and that's a wrap. We've sous vide some gorgeous steaks without any equipment just by using a thermometer and a pot. Think about how many steaks you can buy with all the money that you're not wasting on sous vide stuff. That sounds like a win to me, since my happiness is measured in daily steak intake. 
Anyways, big announcement, we've passed 100 subscribers. I wanna thank you guys so much for all the support and kind words that I have received lately, but it's time to give away that big bread box. The winner of the challenge is this person right here. I'm sorry, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce your name. Please DM me on my Instagram, which is down below to claim your prize. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed spending time with me, destroy that subscribe button, teach that YouTube algorithm who's boss and like and comment on the video. And until next time, remember, life is hard, get used to it.